Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Alves, I'm in the second year of the IT course of Serpetra Mijé in Divinopolis. And today I'm here to talk about a very important topic that might guide the humanity to solve the most amount of problems that it can and will guide us to the future. And this question is, what is wrong with the Ant-Man? The Ant-Man is a superhero created by Marvel, who has the power of shrinking and growing himself. In this movie of 2015, his power is explained by the use of the pin cells, which has the power of changing something's size, but keeping its mass. However, in his movie we have a bunch of scenes of the Ant-Man riding on people's shoulder, which should be impossible, because his weight is around 200 pounds, or 90.7 kilograms, and that would be enough to break someone's shoulder. But how could he become more realistic? Well, according to the atomic model of Niels Bohr, the atom consists in a core of neutrons and protons surrounded by electrons. So to change something's size while keeping its mass, we would have to change the distance between the atoms and the parts of them. That means that changing something's size but keeping its mass would also change its density, since the density is constituted by the mass divided by the volume. In some part of the movie, the Ant-Man grows an ant until he reaches the size of a human being. Since the weight of an ant is around 3 grams, and considering its size about 6.6 .6 times 10 to minus 9 liters, we would have a density of 4.5 milligrams per liter, which is not a big deal, that's normal for an ant. So the density of an ant with the size of a human being would be around 0.05 milligrams per liter, and the density of the air itself is around 1.2 milligrams per liter, that means that this ant would simply flow in the air due to its very low density. In the end of the movie, spoiler alert, the Ant-Man removes its, its safety limiter to shrink to the size of a quark, the entity that constitutes the protons and neutrons, in attempt to try to save his daughter. I love you so much. The problem is that, given the current atomic model, which consists of protons, electrons and neutrons at the outer shell, that would actually be impossible. The pin particles change the distance between the atoms and the parts of itself, so by definition it is impossible to shrink something to less than the size of an atom. That itself isn't a problem though. The real danger comes by the fact that the Ant-Man at this scale would be massive enough to generate a black hole. According to Medium.com, the least amount of mass that a black hole could be viable with, without disappearing by Hawking radiation, would be 0.02 mg, and the Ant-Man has 90 kg. That would bring enough time for the Ant-Man to become a black hole and start sucking the particles around him, but that didn't occur in the film. So we can say that, even though it's a fiction movie, the Ant-Man would be one of the most dangerous superheroes of the Marvel Universe and could have already destroyed the whole planet, but that didn't occur because Stanley didn't want this film to be the end of the whole Marvel Universe. I hope you enjoyed this very weird and funny video made by our group, which is constituted by thy presenter Lucas Alves Garcia de Oliveira, our editor Guilherme dos Santos Cordeiro, and our two screenwriters, Cesar Henrique Rezende Soares and Diego Augusto Silva Castro. Thank you all for watching our video.